What's good everybody, my name is Alchemy and we are going to take a simple pluck kind of like this into a super lush sounding pad that sounds like this. So be sure to stick around for the entire video. I'm gonna be going through all of these macros here and teaching you how to set everything up from the very beginning. If you guys like this kind of content, be sure to like and subscribe and you can support the channel by becoming a member or by checking out all of the cool sounds that I have on my website. With that out of the way, let's go ahead and turn off the effects and I'm going to turn everything else off as well and show you some cool tricks. So the first thing that you wanna just grab is a basic sine wave. And this has a couple of things going on with it. The first thing that you'll notice is that we've got a triangle wave of two more oscillators, both at the second harmonic and 12 semitones. And this is mapped to the level here, which gives us amplitude mod modulation. Now on one of these, we have a single envelope and this is kind of helping it create a pluck. So to do that, you just go over here, hit the yellow button and then add it to there. You can also add it to this one if you want. It'll kind of change the sound. And that kind of gives it a very basic sound. Now, one thing that I have over here is this macro that turns the spread up. And you can see on this one that whenever we change that, it'll kind of spread it out a bit. And that's why over on this, I wanted to kind of make sure that only one of them is being activated because it's, this is going to actually change the sound pretty dramatically. Even still, it gives it a cool effect that kind of spreads the signal out. And it's really fun to kind of mess around with, you know, making something have amplitude modulation, setting a unison on it, and then spreading the voices out. The next thing that we have is this little guy over here, and this is attached to an LFO. This is doing a couple of things. Most importantly, you're gonna notice that this thing is going super fast, and that's this macro here. So I've taken a square LFO, and map that to the pitch at an octave. And now whenever we turn this on, it's going to actually kind of have a cool, almost like video game sound. And you can change this into a faster rate if you wanted to, which kind of gives it that awesome kind of, you know, super old school retro sound. But I kind of like this better, especially when it goes through all the effects that we're getting ready to send this through. The next thing to notice is that on here, we've got an envelope that is just at 15 semitones. And what this is going to do is actually give this a kind of like pitch bin lasery sound because without it, it gives it just a little bit of a click and that helps it kind of have a nice pluck version of that and makes it have a little bit more attack in that way. That's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and go over to the effects. I'm gonna turn all of these off. The first one that we have is a pitch shifter that is going to give this a fifth and it's mapped to a macro here. So you just grab the mix of this, turn it down and then pull this up. But whenever this is turned up all the way, it's gonna make our chords sound a little bit nicer. And even that I would argue with a little bit of reverb could go a long way. <laughs> Sounds really cool. The next thing that we have is a filter and this is attached to an envelope here and also a macro. So the same envelope that we have for the AM, we're kind of making that as like our bell maker, I would say. And so if it's turned all the way down, then it's gonna make it more of a pluck. But whenever we turn the filter up, then it makes it kind of stand out on its own. Now the next thing that we have is a delay and it's got some ping pong on it. And this one's really cool because over time, as we hold the note longer, it's actually going to continue to build and create more longer tails. But with this, you have to hold the note down longer. And that creates a nice little shimmer. You also wanna turn the duck up so that way nothing is not like too, just like a wall of sound. Whereas if you do that this way, it sounds a lot nicer. This is attached to this envelope here. So it's got a long attack, long release, and that's pretty much it. 
Now the next thing that we have is an LFO transgate and this is super cool because you can kind of abuse this like a ring mod. The only problem is that you can't really change the shape of how this has a of how this is gated. It's pretty much just chop and that's it. But if you change this and you make it move or activate over time, then you'll get a really cool effect that sounds like this. And together with the delay, I think that sounds pretty nice. The reverb is pretty much static, doesn't really do a whole lot. Just makes it a little bit bigger. The distortion is gonna make it crunchy, but be careful with this because it's gonna make this sound distorted when the filter is open. And then finally we have a limiter. So between that, there are a couple of other macros that we haven't discussed, which is pretty much just the attack of this where you can adjust that here. And that just changes it from a pluck to a pad. And then finally, we've got decay, which makes the sound kind of draw out longer on the filter. So you can see here that it doesn't really matter unless if this is closed. But when you combine everything together, you turn the spread on, you turn the game on, then everything sounds like this. Let's go ahead and turn the limiter on. It's gonna make it a lot louder. Sounds pretty nice. So that's pretty much it. It's a pretty much a basic sound. There are a few steps to it, but even if you get half of it, it's more about teaching you how you can use some of these tools in a different way than what I usually do, which is bass. But this sounds pretty nice. This preset is available for all the Alcahest members as of now. And I hope that you guys enjoyed the sound. What else would you guys like to see from me? And what synth? I hope to see you all in the next one.